lovely Roland Juno 6 from 1982 and in this video I'm hoping to show you how to use the arpeggiate function on this and integrate it into a MIDI environment. So um, let's get on with it then shall we? So first of all you've got a Juno 6, rather nice notes, rather nice sounds and you want to arpeggiate that so you turn the arpeggiate on and of course you've got a hold key so you can hold that down and you can and away it will go for hours on end okay so nothing new there let's still got the hold on so take the hold off okay so what i want to show you is how to integrate this into a midi system in other words, use the clock in. It has got a clock in feature on the back. No other, no MIDI controls, no uh, DCB port, nothing like that. But it does have a clock in to clock that arpeggiator. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. You notice I did have the chorus on there. How could I resist not having the chorus on? The Juno 6 is the key transpose function which i don't suppose a lot of people use but it does allow you to do things so that uh, you got it in that key and you want it a different key you can and then transpose it Now, when it's held, you can actually transpose the whole sequence, uh, arpeggio by holding it down and going up or down, but obviously it doesn't stay in time, it jumps around a bit. So we won't be using that for a while. Okay, let's crack on. Now around the back of the Juno 6, as with many synths, this is where a lot of the fun starts. Here we have this thing that says arpeggio clock in, and that is what I'm going to be using in a moment. You'll notice if you're really uh, into this sort of thing that I've also got something stuck in the VCF controls. I've actually got that linked to a pedal, um, so I can control the VCF with my foot, which is handy when all your hands are otherwise occupied. Quite. Um, anyway, let's go back to this one, the arpeggio clock in, and here we go, plugging in something. There we go. So I can now clock the arpeggio from something else. Used to clock the Juno's arpeggiator on this occasion is this uh, Dopfer Schaltwerk and I'm going to be using on this one channel 8 which is the last uh, channel here at the bottom and as you can see at the moment all these lights are set to red which means it's going to send a clock signal on every step just for starters I have got the Schaltwerk linked up to the clock in on the back of the Juno so all I have to do is to simply make sure the hold button is on Make sure the arpeggio is on, and of course, play an arpeggio, and nothing happens. Quite rightly, because I haven't pressed start on the Schaltwerk, which I will do now. Doesn't that sound nice? Put chorus on, sounds even better. And I said I was operating the filter pedal with my foot. idea to use a pedal with your foot really so there it is that's a clocked arpeggio nothing too unusual there I hear you say anyone can clock an arpeggio the Dolp for Schaltwerk is primarily a MIDI sequencer. Let's get rid of that. 
It's a MIDI sequencer, but it does have little um, CVs and, and gates and voltage thingies clicking out the back, including uh, a clock. So every time one of those little red lights on the Schaltwerk lights up, it sends out a little pulse to the clock bit and advances the arpeggio one step. That's when things start to get a little bit more interesting. We've only got it on this step, the first step of a possible 12, because I've got 12 as being the return point. So it goes from 1 to 12 and then goes back again. But I've only set that to 1. So what you will actually get is just one note playing in 12 potential steps. So like this, there's a three note arpeggio playing. There's the three notes. And basically what I can do is add steps. There we go, nice three, four time. I've got it through some reverb as well, so I've had a bit of delay. And you start all kinds of craziness happening. For hours. So it's great fun. So basically I'm just uh, taking steps in and out. So that got me thinking. I thought wouldn't it be nice if you could do that with more than one machine at a time? And of course with the Schaltwerk you can. So what I've got here then on channel 7 I've got something else having uh, these keys pressed at certain things. And I will now set that up and show you what that does. Now connected up the other device, so just a reminder then what the Juno is doing. Okay, so a fairly basic thing going through here, playing every other note. Now this is where I think it gets interesting. My second synth I've got on channel 7, and these are where the arpeggiator notes. There's an arpeggiator again, no sequences involved. I know this is a sequencer, but I'm only using it as a clock. Here we go, second synth coming in.
So there we go. Hours. Notes. So uh, let's just see if we can do a bit, shall we? Have a go. Like I said, it's a little bit trial and error, but uh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> 